Once your new 12D project opens up, you may notice that there's some differences from the default 12D, if you've ever opened 12D before. So we'll start off, we can just finish off this Edit Project Details panel. And then you'll probably notice that there's all these extra toolbars at the top here. So these toolbars were created and they're essentially part of the customization. So when we went in and created the environment configuration, it points to a folder and that folder is the user folder. And we can click on this icon here to open the user folder. And inside the user folder, there is a file down the bottom here called user toolbars. And if we open that up, we can see that all it does is point to a list of external toolbars. So we have a toolbar called 12D Field, another one called AutoCAD, another one called Arrange, another one called Display, etc. And these are all underneath a folder called Toolbars. And at the start of it, you'll notice that we have a hash include silent. And all this does is, if it's when loading up 12D, if it can't find this toolbar, rather than create an error, it just continues on. So back inside Windows Explorer, we can see we have this folder called Toolbars. If I open up one of these toolbars, for example, if I open up the toolbars triangulation file, we can see here, and this is the syntax you must follow, we have the name of the toolbar at the top and then an open curly bracket, and that curly bracket will be closed at the very bottom of the file. And then for each button, we have a button name together with an open and a closed curly bracket. We have the command and the command will just be the command inside 12D. So in this case it's going to run a macro or in this case it's going to run the command null heights of and then we have an icon and the icon is just a 16 by 16 bitmap which is stored inside the user folder under the images. And these have all been created by ourselves, so you could create your own if you wanted to create your own toolbars. So just showing you this option here, triangulation null zero heights, and it's the command null height of. So back inside 12D, if I went to utilities, H to Z null height, that would be the, the option null height of, or I could also go up to my toolbar here and the second option was Null Heights and it would bring up the same panel. Now to get the name of the panel we click on the little icon in the top left hand corner and we go to Dump and you'll see this is the name here Null Height Of but you must remove the underscores and replace them with a space. So back inside here you'll see we have Null Height Of no underscores but replaced with a space. And you can do that for any panel inside of 12D, doesn't matter what the panel is. If you click on the icon and click on dump, you'll see this one would be the bearing distance entry panel. So just to explain a couple of these toolbars for you, over on the side here we have shortcuts to get into our working folder, our user folder and our user library. We then have shortcuts to create a new plan view, a new section view or a new perspective view. We have some workspaces. So this default workspace will just set the screen up as we see it. If you go into the second icon and you hold it down, we have some workspaces already set up. So we have them for survey data reduction, for triangulation, for set out and for road design. And the fourth icon allows you to create your own workspaces and save them. Next we have importing, so some shortcuts to import 12DAs, XYZ generals, a DXF or a DWG and a Genio, and then the same exports. Then we have some commonly used um, edits, so a lot of these can be found over on the side here. So for example the edit vertex would be found here. So based on our experience we've put together a list of commonly used edits and put them into one separate toolbar. Then we have the triangulation toolbar, so we have quick triangulate, the null heights as we already saw, the change superstring tinability, check break lines, create a tin, and then some null options, create a boundary. 
Over on the right hand side we have the global edits so these are all the options or many of the commonly used options found under utilities A to G or H to Z and you can shortcut straight to the actual menu also by clicking on A to G or H to Z and down the bottom here we have some options for setting up the views just here you may have noticed that we also have a, another icon which allows you to do some help so if you click on the help it just brings up a PDF file that explains all the different toolbars and how they were created. The next option will allow you to call support on Skype and finally the option to open the 12D forum.